What would you guys like to see? Well, I have it right here. Reaction clips, compilations, 8%. Fitness information and training updates, 75% vlogs and mic'd up content 17%. And so I'm going to give people what they want. In today's video, we're going to be answering a simple question. Can you just treat your rest days like arm days? Because you know, the arms are just like small muscle groups, you know, it's not a compound move, bro. So like, you know, you're not going to like train much, you know, it's just the biceps and triceps, bro. And it does make sense. I'm going to be honest because the biceps, you know, it's one small isolation movement you could do like a preacher curl triceps. Likewise, you could just do a couple of cable pushdowns or something and uh, you're good to go. You know, it's not that hard in the body, right? Well, I thought so. I thought so until I did this little experiment. Not so scientific experiment. I want to do an arm day on my rest day. Although I am retired from powerlifting training. Stop the cap. I'm still periodizing my training, which means I have training sessions with lower RP and training sessions with higher RP. That's relevant because arm day, right? It's it's low effort. You could just blast the biceps, get jacked arms. But can you just really replace your rest day and uh, with an arm day and be fine for your next training cycle? And before we get into that diehard question, let's just go through the training. So before getting into the workout, I did take some pre-workout from Huge Supplements. Now this pre-workout is no joke and I highly suggest taking a moderate dose of Rekt as it contains very strong stimulant inside of it. If you want to check out some Huge Supplements, use code JUSTLY for 10%. It also is a support code, so I appreciate you if you use it. Now getting back to the workout. The workout was pretty good, I'm not going to lie. I had a great workout, a great pump, and my arms felt immaculate. They felt juicy without the juice, but I'm not going to cap. Um, you're probably better off regardless of having an amazing workout on your rest day, not doing that workout because there's two components to it. The first reason being that if you are deep in a training program or deep into your RPEs, like RP8 to 9, every single day of recovery does matter. When you train hard, you might not know it, you're still taxing your central nervous system or CNS. And sometimes that rest day of keeping everything calm is much more beneficial than pushing yourself on your rest day. Unless you're really able to get a soft workout and you're able not to push the gym, then I would say probably doing an arm day that's very soft is relatively safe. But at the same time, why would you go gym just to have ass or workout? So if you're highly fatigued in your training program, running with RP8s, 9s, and working with big compound lifts throughout the week, I would suggest that you don't do arm day on your rest days because if you're like me and you still end up pushing on your rest days, some of the exercise you do for arms will definitely affect your core. For example, you're definitely using some of your core when you're going heavy on skull crushers and you're definitely using some of your back muscles when you're doing heavy ass bicep curls. And when I woke up the day after, my abdominal region was sore, my, my back was a little bit sore, in which I probably wouldn't have had any of these symptoms if I didn't train on my rest day. And so going into the session after, again, taking one of the best supplements that you can take with an amazing fire fit, I want to go hit one of the bigger sessions of my training block, which is going to be a big pause squat. I'm doing pause squat because of my hip bursitis. This pause squat day did not feel great. More specifically, my brace fell off. I ate plenty the day before. And so there's no reason to really feel bad aside from having no rest day in between, which is the only changing variable, which led me to almost miss a squat, which I did about two weeks ago. 535 pause squat move terrible. I almost fell back with it. And I even tried to progress into back down sets. I couldn't even do it because my erectors were pretty damn shot, as well as my central nervous system felt very fatigued. Now I'm not gonna try fit my narrative, but this could just be the result of having last minute changes in one's program. Perhaps if I trained with arm days on my rest days a lot earlier in the program, my body was used to this. My CNS or my overall fatigue wouldn't have been shot. And today's training day wouldn't be a rest day if I simply took my rest day on my arm day, because at the end of the day, what's really important when it comes to training programming is making making sure that your body has enough recovery. As perfect as things might look on paper, if you're not sleeping well, you're not eating well, having an extra night of sleep will always be more beneficial than trying to follow suit with your schedule. And so when it comes to having your arm day on your rest day, realize that instead of hitting two birds with one stone, you might just be delaying your whole training program by an extra day because you'll need that rest day innately from the nature of your training program. Now, if you're running RP6, you probably don't need it, but maybe for an RP9, you will need it, such as in my case. Now, if you like this video, please like the video, drop a comment below if you want me to answer another fitness training question similar to this one. Thank you everyone that uses my support code. If you're wondering what is a sudden change in supplement brands, the truth is I didn't really want to switch supplement brands until I tried Huge Supplements. I was sent out by one of the owners at Huge. He said, hey, try this. If you like the supplements, let's make a deal out. I ended up trying supplements and they were something that I never tried before. We should be having some giveaways coming up soon. As for coaching, I plan to open up some spots early June. Stay tuned for that if you're interested. It won't be pure powerlifting. It'll be a mixture of power building. And that's about it. Peace.